best pairs to trade. If you have ever thought about trading or if you're thinking, why do I always lose in the market? Maybe you're trading the wrong pairs or sometimes you're not making enough money. Maybe the pairs that you have chosen, they are not giving you uh, profitable results. They are just giving you bare minimum. So in this video, I want us to discuss about the best pairs to trade because you can have a very good strategy, but the pairs that you have chosen becomes a problem. I remember when I started Forex trading back in 2020, I was trading GBPAUD. This was my pair. I loved GBPAUD so much, but I came to realize it was one of the worst pairs you can pick. And by the end of the video, I will tell you why. I, I feel like GBPAUD is one of the worst pairs. I will do a video on the worst pairs you're not supposed to trade. So if this video hits 10,000 views, if you can make this video to get 10,000 views, I will do worst pairs to, to trade. And GBPAUD will be one of the pairs, okay? So let's get into the video. Before even uh, I tell you this is the best, you need to understand something. I want to teach you something. And I know majority of people who have been following me, majority are beginners or familiar with Forex and a bit of advance, but let's start from the scratch. So when we come to talk of pairs, before even we go to pairs, we already know that uh, we trade Forex. For, what is Forex? Forex is uh, exchange of one currency to another currency. So we have two currency like this. So we have the first currency, and then this, first, this currency, it is exchanged to another currency. That's what Forex is all about. So when we say a pair, what do we mean by saying a pair? When we come to say a pair is because we can never trade Forex by itself. The reason why we say I am trading this pair is because I can never trade a currency, one currency by itself. So it's either... It's either I'm trading, uh, it's either I'm trading uh, one currency and then I exchange it and I get another currency. So because I cannot trade one currency by itself, I will have to trade two. So the, the two currency that I am trading here, that is where the name pair comes from. So if you didn't know where the word pair comes from, it comes from you trading uh, two currencies because we cannot uh, trade one currency. So if at all I am trading, this is GBP, if at, uh, if at all I'm trading GBP against uh, USD, USD, instead of saying I am trading GBP and USD, I will say I am trading a pair. So GBP, USD, when you combine it, it becomes a pair. So it's like GBP and then you add a plus here, plus GBP. So what you are doing now, you are trading a pair. So have you understood where the word pair comes from? Majority of people, you will trade pairs, but you don't even understand where it comes from. So it's where we are trading two different currencies. So that is what it means. Another thing, I need you to understand that we don't say USD GBP. We don't say USD. Uh, we don't say USD, uh, and then we trade against GBP. And why is this? I know many people who are watching me are beginners and I want to help you because this is just basic. You know, once you understand basic, you'll be able to have confidence even in your trading. So the reason why we don't say USD versus GBP is because USD has less value than GBP. So we cannot compare USD. We cannot start with the one that has less value. So because of GBP uh, against USD, the first one always have a value. So this one, GBP is the base and it has more value. So GBP is the base and has more value. And USD is the quote and it has less value. So that's why even in grouping. So if imagine if you even don't understand how the markets are grouped, if you don't understand why we start with GBP? Why can't we say, imagine someone saying, I am trading JPY against, against USD. Are you right? Is this right? So which one are you supposed to say? Are you supposed to say JPY versus USD 
or USD versus JPY. So you, we cannot say JPY versus USD because if I say that, I mean JPY is more strong, which is wrong. So I will say USD versus JPY. So you need to understand that anytime you are grouping two currencies to get a pair, it is because the first currency have more power, okay? Ha no more power has more value. Sorry about that. So the first one is wrong. Let me show you. The first one is very wrong. We don't say JPY uh, USD, but we say USD JPY. And the reason is, the reason why we say USD JPY is because USD is the base and the base has more value than the JPY. That is where the term pair comes from, okay? Anytime you want to trade, anytime you want to trade and you don't have this information, this is foundation, this is basic. And I don't want to go into details because I am not here just to give you everything and, and, and miss on what the video is all about. The video is about the best pairs to trade. So how can you even understand the word pair if you don't have the foundation, if you don't even understand where the word pair comes from? So we don't normally trade, uh, we don't normally trade currencies, we, we trade a pair, and this is the grouping. Another thing, once the grouping is done, when we are grouping between two currencies, the key note to check is the value. So when we are grouping, we are interested with the value. But this changes when you come to trade. So grouping of a pair is determined by value. But trading of a pair, guys, understand that tongue twister. So when you are grouping pairs, so I will write, when you group pairs or currencies, when you group currencies to form a pair, we check the value. Okay, but that changes when we trade the pair. We don't check the value, we check the strength. So we don't, we no longer check the value, but we check the strength. It's because the value ends after grouping. So if I now want to trade GBPUSD, I will now start looking whoever is strong which currency between the GBP and the USD is strong. And I want to give you another thing. And I want to tell you another thing. Now, because you understand now we are no longer trading. When you come to your chart, if I open this chart and you can see all these pairs lining up, and this is our pair like this, we no longer trade value. When you are trading a currency against each other, is no longer about value. When you're trading a currency against each other, we are now looking at the strength of the currency. So sometimes you may be trading a USD JPY. Sometimes you may be trading USD JPY. And because now you're trading USD JPY, we already know that USD has more value, more value, and JPY has less value. That's why we have that grouping. But these ones, it ends after, after, after grouping, that, uh, that, that uh, analogy will end here. So when you come to trade, you have to understand we trade the strength. We always tra trade the strength. If we traded the value, nobody would have ever traded JPY. So if, because you are trading the strength, I want to show you another thing. You know, I come here to give you important information. And if you're loving this video, give it a big thumbs up. So number one, we trade. And this is, this, understand this, because now you understand we trade the strength of the currency. So base, if base, the first thing that you need to understand is if base is strong, if base is strong, we buy. And if the quote is strong, we sell. Okay, so if the base is strong, we buy. If the quote is strong, we sell. Let me tell you, before even you know the best pairs to trade, Without this concept, you will have a very hard time because you need to check at these two currencies and understand that if I want to buy USD JPY, if I want to buy USD JPY and I want to do a buy, my concern is USD to be strong. 
And if I want to trade a JPY, if I want to sell, now it's not buying now, I'm selling. If I want to sell, if I now want to sell USD JPY, JPY need to be strong. Let me tell you, if you understand what I'm telling you right now, you will have an easy time choosing your pairs. So it is just a must, matter of understanding anytime the market is going on an uptrend because buyers are in control, anytime the market is buying, we have said, when the market buys, USD is strong. And this time, USD here, it is the base. So anytime you will ever see a market buying, anytime you'll ever see a market buying, USD is strong if you are trading USD JPY. And if it reverses on you and it starts to sell, JPY now is strong. So when you come now to choose here, JPY is strong. And on the other side, USD is strong. So when you come to choose, when you know you come to choose the best pair to trade, the question is, do you understand each currency and what is happening? Because let's say I want on Monday, I'm waking up and I want to trade GBP, USD. The question is, do you understand GBP as a currency and USD as a currency? Do you understand what is happening with the pound and what is happening with the dollar? Do you have that understanding? Are you aware that USD dollar has been affected and now I won't be selling GBP USD, but I would rather buy GBP USD? So there are three pairs that I can recommend every single time. And these are the three best pairs that I will recommend. Number one is GBP USD. Number two is Euro USD. And number three is Audi USD. So these are one of the best pairs that you can trade anytime. Even if you have a small account, you have a big account. The reason behind these pairs being the best pairs to trade is because they have the same code. You can see they have the same code. Let me show you. So this one has the USD as the code. This one has the USD as the code. This one has the USD as the code. So you have easy time to do your own research. You just need to understand what is happening with the dollar. What is really happening with the dollar? So if I open all the, pair, all the pairs with the USD, I open GBP USD, Euro USD, Audi USD, I can be able to tell by the market. If I see the market is on an uptrend, Automatically, I can understand that I, I can start to understand that USD is weak because why is it buying? So GBP is strong, Euro is strong, Audi is strong. So if I see most of the charts GBP having becoming strong, I can be able to trade any pair with GBP. So I can come and trade GBP card, I can come and trade GBP CHF, I can come and trade GBP JPY. Why? because I started by understanding GBP USD. So don't go to GBP card as your first currency and GBP CHF. The GBP USD is one of the best currencies and to put on top, to, to add a, something else is a major currency. So you will find majority of time, GBP USD will control these three currencies. So why would you spend your time trading GBP card, GBP CHF when you're not sure what GBP USD is doing? So when you are sure of Euro USD, you are now able to trade Euro, Euro JPY, EuroCAD, Euro CHF, Euro NZD. Why are you able to trade this pair? Because if Euro is strong and you know it is strong against USD, you will be mindful or you will be careful to trade against, like you will not be selling anything with Euro. So you'll find yourself, you're looking opportunities to buy Euro JPY. Because if you are so sure of Euro USD being a buy, it means Euro as the base is strong and you're supporting Euro. So that is the only way, guys, you can master the best pairs. And I have said, 
it it relies on understanding that anytime you have and the, the like right now the USD is the base, but if I say GBP USD, GBP USD can turn to be a quote. So GBP USD here, USD is the quote because of the arrangement. So if I have if I have GBP USD, in such a case, my USD is is the quote. This is the quote and GBP is the base. So you can find sometimes what was quote becoming base, what was base becoming quote according to how you group them. So in such a case, I just need to go to the chart uh, of GBPUSD. Let's try to go to the chart of GBPUSD and you tell me what you think. Wait, where are you, GBPUSD? So if I check GBPUSD, So here is here is the chart on GBPUSD. If I check, this is the chart on four hour. I can see between GBP and USD who is stronger. Who is stronger? Of course, GBP has been so strong. You can see the market is on an uptrend. So if I'm so comfortable trading buy because if I, if the base is strong, we buy. If I'm so comfortable trading GBPUSD buy. What will I do to GBP card? Will I come to sell GBP card? No, because in the first place, I was so okay buying GBP USD. I cannot come to do less of GBP card by selling. I will find myself, I'm looking for buy opportunity. So if I open GBP card, you will find, because they are sharing the pound as the first currency, even GBP card is a strong buy. So when you want to identify the best currencies, to trade, I cannot tell you right now that you will be trading GBP card, you'll be trading GBP JPY. You will use the three major currency pairs to know what to trade every single day. And you can see the GBP card has been very, very strong. So the GBP card has been buying and GBP USD has been buying. It's because between GBP USD and GBP card is because we have more confident on what the pound is doing. So the pound in this case is very strong. So when when GBPUSD, you have really understood what GBPUSD is doing, you are now comfortable to trade other pairs. So for AUDUSD, anytime you want to trade AUDUSD, you can imagine it's either Audi is stronger or USD is stronger. So for me to know Audi is strong, I just to, I just need to I just need to see the Audi USD on an uptrend. For me to to know Audi is stronger than USD, I need to see AUD uh, USD on an uptrend because in such a case, AUD is the base, and if the base is strong, we buy. If the quote is strong, we sell. So I just need to understand what is happening uh, with uh, Audi USD quote. So I will go and open AUD USD pair. So let's go and open AUD pair like that. So this is AUD pair. And you can see, according to this chart, which trend are we on? We are buying, OK? So because now I understand this is an uptrend, the market has been buying. You can see it has been buying since here. So because I understand now this is an uptrend, at least I have a clue that AUD is strong. So I will be careful not to do anything uh, uh, complicating or going against AUD. So if I open my chart and I want to trade AUD card or AUD CHF or AUD JPY, I will be looking for buys only. And that's how to know the best pairs to trade. They keep changing. Sometimes you will see AUD has been so weak because the market is selling. Like, let me show you. There was a time AUD was so weak. You can see this whole time USD was so strong and all the Audi pairs were selling. So it was so easy to place your trade because if AUD is weak, it means USD is stronger. Any pair, like all these pairs at that time, they were selling. So if I look at right now where the market is, 
and I just open at Audi card. I just say, let me just open a UD card and see what is happening with Audi card. Will I find it buying? That's the question. Of course, I will find it buying. Can you see Audi card is a very strong buy? It's buying. And the reason Audi card is buying is because we have a clue that Audi is strong from Audi USD. So if I go to Audi CHF, let's try to, to check Audi CHF and see what is happening with Audi CHF. So Audi CHF, you can see even Audi CHF has been buying. So this is the only way for me I have really uh, gotten to trade pairs with no uh, with, without uh, any hassle because if I'm comfortable, Audi USD is a good pair. If I'm comfortable, Audi USD is a good pair and it is buying because good pair, it means the market, uh, this is what we say, good pair, it means you understand the state of that trade. So let's say uh, on Friday, I want to show you what happened with all JPY pairs. So JPY pairs, Anyone who, and I want you to comment down below, if you traded JPY on Friday, if you were selling, you made money. If you were not selling, either you blew account or you were in massive drawdown. So if I can give you all J the JPY pairs uh, starting from uh, card JPY, that is how the market dropped. So you can see from card JPY, the market dropped with, this is Friday alone the market dropped with 351. So in such a case of CAD JPY, we have seen that JPY is stronger and there's no way you can start going against JPY. So if JPY, which is the quote, is stronger, the market will start selling. If I go to USD JPY, there's no way I can find it buying because of course, if CAD JPY is selling, it means JPY is selling. So you can have a clue when you see some pairs uh, with the same code. So all JPYs were selling, Let, let's go to NZD JPY. You can see all of them sold on Friday. This is the selling that happened on Friday. Audi JPY, again, even it, it is sold. And the reason why it is selling is because JPY had some strength. So the market, that's how the market behaved. And we can see GBP JPY, can you see GBP, JPY, the market sold? So if you started to see the, the presence of strong strength in JPY and you say, let me just sell all JPY pairs, you'll have made money. But imagine if you did not interpret the strength of JPY. So if you are failing to interpret if a, a currency is stronger or not stronger, I would really suggest you avoid it. And the last one was, CHF JPY. So in short, all JPY pairs sold on Friday after they were so weak because the market has been buying for a very long time. But on Friday, for some reason, the market just started to sell and all JPY pairs were affected. So this is to tell you guys that anytime you want to do or to understand your best pairs, I will always bring you to this. You have to know that grouping is by value. But when we come to trade the pair, we check the strength. So you will be so accurate. Like you can even go to strength, uh, the, the strength uh, meter, where you are just checking which, which currency is more stronger. Once you understand that this currency is stronger, you now apply. If the base is stronger, I will buy. If the quote is stronger, I will sell. And then now you start combining the currencies that will, will create a pair. I hope this information was helpful. If it was helpful, make sure you share this video to at least three telegram groups that deal with forex or whatsapp group and make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think what what are your best pairs what do you check to say this is my best pairs which pairs do you love most and you cannot go a day without trading these pairs so guys thank you so much for watching i want just to highlight that i have three offers if you have found my teaching helpful if you have found it more helpful and you would want more of this in a more private mentorship i have the first mentorship is the class that happens every single day and i hope you're seeing this uh image let me first make sure you're seeing it uh i was not to stop sure let me share okay you're seeing it so 
this is the this is the for for every month the classes happens in Kenya and I'm so excited that October is the class of excellence and I have three international students that are flying coming to Kenya I'm so happy guys you can't imagine like I I, I'm looking forward to train these students because if they can fly from their country to come to Kenya just to meet me physically and for me to help them with the information, I'm so honored. So October is the month of excellence and 1st of October is on Tuesday. So once Tuesday hit, just know that we have entered the month of excellence, guys. So this is the offer for the class of excellence. The, the class goes for $1,000 and it goes for two weeks. And we have the next offer, which is a recorded class. So this recorded class, it has 12 modules, 40 videos lesson, and this, my number is there. You can pause and you can check. It's also $1,000. So you can opt to come to physical class or you just take the recorded classes. The last offer is for my international students who cannot be able to fly and come to Kenya. I have a Zoom Forex trading webinar that happens every month. And in the month of October, we are doing, we are starting on 20th October. So I want people to register for this class. And because this class and this mentorship goes for one month, I am charging $1,500 dollars few slots are available and it will be starting at 9 p.m you can see all the details i don't want to take people's time by coming here to tell you about my offers the reason why i'm doing this is because many people have been scammed by people impersonating to be me given fake numbers so if you want any of the three when you come to my inbox you just tell me either i want the zoom webinar or i want the one month Forex mentorship, or I want recorded class, or I want to come to Kenya, you, you just need to tell me because these are the only three offers that I have. Okay, guys, I'm so excited for those three students that will be coming. Anyway, guys, all the best. I hope you now are able to master the, the pairs and you're able to understand this is what happens in the market. And I am ready to teach for everyone who who doesn't have money, you can come to my channel every day at 3 p.m. Kenyan time to learn for free. For those who want to advance, you have the three offers. It's you to choose the one that you want. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.